both the Christmas haul of 2023. It's going to be a chaotic one because this little one wants to be with me. He wants to touch it all. I'm trying to get it done so that you guys can see all the fun things that we hauled. We went to so many different stores. I still want to go to World Market and what was the other store I wanted to go to? Oh, Hobby Lobby, but that's just a truck and I'm not gonna probably get there. I did go to Home Goods, Michaels, and Marshalls and got some real, ooh, and Target. Got some really good stuff. The very first item that I spotted was from Home Goods and it was for Finn's Nursery. I'm so excited to decorate it this year because last year, since I was so postpartum, I didn't even really want to think about decorating besides what we had already done and he's going to grab the camera. <laughs> What a Christmas haul this is gonna be this year! Holly jolly Christmas! Okay, can I have my tripod back, which is the candle? Okay, we're gonna leave it, we're gonna leave it! <gasps> the most chaotic Christmas haul you ever did see. Got this beautiful pillow, which has this almost like knit-like design on it. Seriously, how did you get over there so quickly? Come over here, it's not funny, Bubba. Let's show, let's show them the other thing we got which is this beautiful bottle brush tree. We got this from Target. This is the medium one, which is surprising because it's pretty large looking. And then I also picked up the small, which was behind me, but he probably moved it, which he did right there, the small one. Speaking of bottle brush trees, I picked up this big pack from Michaels. I thought this would be a great way to just like disperse some Christmas throughout if something feels like it's missing, especially on the shelves in the den. Christmas time. I miss here. <laughs> I love you. Are you being silly? Yes, you are. Okay, what else can we show them that we got? <gasps> we did pick up this beautiful, beautiful tinsel tree because Mama loves a nostalgic Christmas. And I thought this would be a really beautiful tabletop tree to display my antique ornaments. So I might put this in my room anywhere that he can't grab this. The surfaces need to be pretty cleared out if he's around. So I'm pretty much just keeping things high up these days. Look how lovely this is. It has some colorful beads on the ends of the tree branches. I just loved it. I thought it felt very nostalgic. It's probably one of my favorite purchases so far. I'm gonna give you a little ornament haul because I've bought a few. I just feel like this is the year of ornaments for me. This little dog with the reindeer antlers and then this plaid bandana. So stinking cute from Pottery Barn. Also from Pottery Barn, this little gingerbread house. I got two of these gingerbread men because I just felt like they were felt perfection for a little gingerbread man and I want to put it somewhere in the kitchen. I mean, I'll actually, you know what, I might put it on his tree, but it could go in the kitchen somewhere to play off of the gingerbread theme that I want to do. I actually bought this ornament back in October because I couldn't pack this dog up. It is my perfect dog ornament. I think it's so stinking cute. Little pipe tobacco and the jacket. It's just a Scottish dog looking all dapper. And I thought this would be so cute to put on Finn's tree. Also, Finn was so obsessed with it that I just had to get it. And it was on like 50% off sale at Joann's. So this was our very first thing we grabbed. This year. Here's a sneak little peek with the ornaments that I picked up while thrifting. The aluminum tree that I got from Target with the vintage bulbs that I picked up and they're just so stunning. And then one that's very special to me is this Humpty Dumpty. Look how cute he is. So my grandma actually has a Humpty Dumpty from my dad's childhood. We absolutely love it, but it did break a leg. And when I saw this on a vintage page that I follow, I absolutely had to get it because it just reminds me of my childhood and looking at my grandma's tree. And if you know me, you know how much my grandma's house at Christmas time means a lot to me. I love adding little bits and pieces that remind me of her house into my own. So I got my own Humpty Dumpty. I've been loving the parties here. I bought these cute little plates that have the vintage bulbs on them because I'm going to host a white elephant little get together at my place for my friends and my co-workers. We'll have like Christmas cocktails and some schnibbles and just all the fun things and you need to have some plates to do that. I wanted to get these gingerbread mugs. These are so so stinking cute. I already was drinking hot chocolate out of mine earlier. Look how adorable those are. I love how cute the lady looks and the candy cane handle. And then we have our classic gingerbread man. So cute. So one for me and one for Ryan. It's, it's really hard not to... You really like this mug. You do. Here, how about we show them so you can still hold it. I couldn't pass this up because it's giving nostalgia. What is Christmas without hauling a bunch of mugs? I just can't 
can't help it. And this one is the nostalgic Christmas tree. Can you show them the top to that? Wow. And it has a little star. So cute. So you can use that as a mug. Or I thought you could put like your hot cocoa mix next to your hot cocoa bar. And that could be the place that you store your mix and then put it into your, your drink in another mug. So many options. Right? And Finn loves it. Oh, you want some hot cocoa? Mmm. But what movie should we watch tonight? We gotta watch all the fun Christmas movies. Okay, so that's it for my mugs. Oh, Ryan had to get this for Finn, and I'm really glad that he did because Finn absolutely loves this little toy that sings songs to you. Let me turn it on for you. And it moves. Look. Dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh. You love it, Finny? So, we had to. It was so sweet. He loves puppies. For Christmas garland, I picked up these felt garlands from Trader Joe's. They are so affordable, so cute. And I saw them at Home Goods, and they were like twice as much. So I picked up like the classic colors. And then I also got the classic colors with teal in it because that is the theme of Finn's room. And I'm going to wrap it around his Christmas tree, which you'll see in another video. And then I picked up literally five of these because I was like, this is just perfect to add something that feels like it's missing something Christmassy and they light up. Michael's had so many good light up garland of like all shapes and sizes. It was truly magical. I went with the standard cedar garland and I'm going to display these on the shelves in the den and then maybe on some of the shelves in Finn's room. Also picked up this reversible mini Christmas tree skirt for the tree in his room, but I also am going to have a mini tabletop tree in the den as well. So, oh, I got two of these actually, and I really love the plaid version, but then on the other side, this is like a good classic knit if you just wanna go for, you know, plain and red. Look how stunning these Christmas tree taper candles are. I love them because also they, oh, I forgot I put batteries in this. Look at that, oh, so beautiful. My dad really wants a pair and I went back and they didn't have any. Only bummer is, is that every night you're gonna have to like go like that to turn them off. There's no clicker, but no, you gotta put in the work to make it a cozy Christmas. Speaking of cozy Christmases, Finn and I absolutely love to have our book before bed and Obviously, it is the holiday season, so I need to make sure that I switch the books out from fall to Christmas. I picked up this one called You're My Little Christmas Cookie because he loved the pumpkin pie one that I have for fall and Thanksgiving as well. But this one is just so sweet and he loves slipping through the pages that I would just grab this one. But then we are also gonna go to our local library. Also, this is your reminder that you can go to your local library and get the free books. Why spend all that money on books when you can use your free resources, go in, make an experience with your kiddo and grab some of those books for the shelf. Another fun item that I picked up was the Hearth and Hand with Magnolia Green Accessory Kit. They had a much bigger one but we didn't really need the big size. I thought this would just be so stinking cute to have in his room as decor, but also, of course, for him to play with. He has been loving like moving things back and forth. The, the train, I think, will be a really great toy for him to keep him preoccupied, and it's Christmas theme, it's so cute. All of their stuff is so adorable at Heart of the Hand. I've really enjoyed their Christmas stuff. Oh, and their their garland and florals are, if you have a little extra budget, I highly recommend getting that because they are just so easy to work with. They look so realistic, and I have a few myself. Love them, but they are priced, unfortunately. And then, what else? Oh, I did forget that I picked up this garland, and they are cutters that light up because I want to turn my kitchen into, wait for it, a gingerbread themed house. Like I just feel like we could do it. We're gonna DIY it because the way it looks already with the scalloped edging and all of that, it makes me feel like a gingerbread house. So I'm like, why not transform the cabinets, make it really truly into a life-size gingerbread house. I've been seeing that all over TikTok too, where they'll transform a room or the outside of their house using all these different DIY tricks. So I, I really want to utilize that as well. I love a project. I can't help myself, but I thought these would be really perfect for the kitchen to hang around the cedar garland that I'm going to pick up from Trader Joe's because I do love to have fresh greenery in the home because our Christmas tree is not real, but I love the scent of fresh greens. So thank you. I appreciate you handing me the 
Christmas cup. There's just nothing like the smell of a real Christmas tree. There's nothing like it. And if we were here longer, I would absolutely get a real Christmas tree, but we're not. I did buy a few other knickknacks that I thought I would share with you because you can never have enough fairy lights. So I picked up the $5 fairy lights from Target. Warm, white, always and only because I do not like LED. I think it's extremely aggressive. I don't want to have that kind of brightness in my pupils ever. Warm white, it's just the way to go. I love a battery pack too. There are twinkle lights, fairy lights that you have to plug in and I didn't realize that and I had ordered them off of Amazon and that just becomes a hassle because you can't just put them anywhere that doesn't have an outlet. So just make sure you keep that in mind when you're buying. I picked up these beautiful acrylic looking candy cans. I thought these would be really nice to have on hand to add as just detailing. Um, I have two vintage ones that I picked up from a local thrift store when I was home one year for Christmas, but I wanted a few more. So I'm glad I found those from Michaels. And then also from Michaels, I picked up for Finn shelves this beautiful nutcracker. I love nutcrackers, absolutely adore nutcrackers. I want to just continue to collect and grow my nutcracker collection because I have a vision. One year, I'm gonna have it on like a beautiful little table just a bunch of nutcrackers layered on top of each other styled and the last one we're gonna end on a santa note i thought this little santa he's very mini so i don't know if you can really like, there's my hand he's like two hands i thought this little santa would look so sweet on his shelf in his room and he has his toys he's obviously in his workshop working away it does have a little mark on there but i'm just gonna use a white paint pen to fix it up. I really take the time to pick out my Christmas items so that they are something that I can eventually pass down to my own children and that they can enjoy as much as I've enjoyed some of the things that my parents have picked out throughout the years. I truly also just love taking the time to stroll through the shops and to get inspiration. There's so many ways you can decorate for Christmas and I think I've kind of just leaned into more of that like 1950s vintage Christmas feeling. I just always am drawn towards that and it makes me so so genuinely happy. I know there's a lot of ways you can go and it gets overwhelming, but just kind of pick maybe like one or two styles to really like mesh together to make your own. I'm really excited to decorate because I just feel like there's so much inspiration that I have and I want to execute in our apartment. So I'm ready to get cozy and to snuggle up, enjoy my Christmas decor, and I will definitely be posting a decorate with me type of video or a Christmas decor tour, depending on you know how chaotic my life is that day. But I definitely want to document these moments because they're so special to me. And I don't care that he is running around screaming. This is something I'm gonna look back on and be like, oh, remember those chaotic days and cherish them instead of put up a video that's not realistic. And this is my life. Merry Christmas. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Everywhere we go. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.